guys. Okay, so for this video, I thought instead of just like vlogging, I would do a sit down and kind of show you some of the books that we keep on hand that we really like, that we feel um, help us with our home studying. I will try to link these books on Amazon. It won't be an affiliate link or anything. I'll just try to link them so it makes it easier to find. Amazon is not always the cheapest place to get these books. I will explain that when I get to one of them, but it'll give you a starting point. So, all right, first one is the Rocky Mountain Wild Foods Cookbook. Now we bought this when we lived in Idaho, so it was definitely more applicable for that area, but I've kept it because there are some of the things in here also grow here, not just in um, the Rocky Mountain area. Um, the woman who wrote this book, Darcy Williamson, is amazing. Kurt got to go on a foraging foray with her and learn some of her um, her knowledge. It was a really neat experience and it is just loaded with pictures to identify things. There's a ton of recipes in here. Tons of them. Um, choke cherry mousse, service berry breakfast bars, wild currant pudding with sherry sauce, wild plum curry sauce, uh, there, there's a ton. She goes over a lot of things um, and covers not just the recipes but lots of information about each plant and the parts that you use. So I found this book extremely helpful. I don't remember how much it was. I don't think it was very expensive but this is a really good one especially if you're living in this region. Next one is the Ball Complete Book of Home Preserves. I have not done a ton of canning. We have done jelly and we've done applesauce multiple times. We get our applesauce um, recipe from in here, but this is like this is like the book of canning. It has it has all the things. So this is a really good one to have too. You can kind of preserve your uh, your harvest. All right, this one is root celering by Mike and Nancy. I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to say it's Bubel. It's B-U-B-E-L, so I'm not sure. This book is amazing. Um, I want to do some kind of a root cellar. I found it extremely intimidating. Um, there are so many methods, so many ways to do it, and it's just, it's like this huge learning curve. This breaks it all down. It is very... Um, specific about different ways to do things, different types of root cellars, why you might want to go one way or the other, and it doesn't just talk about how to store the food. They they talk about how to grow the different things that will work well in a root cellar. So this is a wealth of knowledge. I sat down and tried to just read through it and um, as you can see I only got part way through and then I started skipping to parts, different parts are in the book because it's just loaded with information, so much info. So this one is one that you'll want to keep on hand to be able to reference. This isn't one that I would necessarily just check out of the library and, and read. You'd want to keep this one on hand so you can keep checking back. But this one is amazing. It's the best book I have found so far on um, root cellaring and cold food storage. Okay, this one is Midwest Medicinal Plants. As soon as we uh, realized basically that we were moving to Missouri, this is like one of the first things I did. I ordered this book. Um, it is chock full of information, lots and lots of plants in here, and you can find books very much like this for whatever region you are in. And, and a lot of them do overlap, but I do encourage you getting one that is region specific for your region. I will link this one specifically below. I spent hours reading through reviews on Amazon to pick just the right one, and this is the one I ended up with. Um, has lots of beautiful color pictures in here, tons of information on how to ID them, when is the best time to harvest, what you can do with them. My kids have read through this book and thoroughly enjoyed it and going out and identifying things. So I really have enjoyed this one and I feel like it's very important to have books like this because when you're homesteading, to me, it's about providing for yourself off your land as much as you can. If you have not introduced foraging into that, then you are missing out. 
I bet that there are tons of things just in your own front yard that you could be using that are edible or that are edible and medicinal. That would be a great value to you and you're just assuming it's a weed in your yard. I know I've got lots out there that I'm like, that's a weed, that's, maybe that's a good weed. And I look it up and sure enough, it is a valuable weed. So I encourage you to start foraging if you have not yet. Get a book like this so that it can help you identify what's in your yard. I bet you have a ton of stuff that you can use that you didn't even know you have. This is another one that is a favorite of mine, all-time favorite. Whenever anyone asks about a good book that talks about herbs to start with, I always recommend this. It is Backyard Pharmacy by Rachel Weaver. She's a master herbalist, and um, this was not an easy-to-find cheap book. I think I paid about $25 for this one, which is, for me, that's an expensive book. I never pay that much for a book, but I wanted it really badly. And it was cheaper to get this off of eBay. I've bought this twice now. I bought this one and then I bought another copy for a friend. So definitely check out eBay on this one. There are three places that I always check for books. I check Amazon, I check thriftbooks.com and I will link that below. And I check eBay. And I, I buy whatever's the, the least expensive version that I would like. I never buy, um, good used condition or acceptable because I've done that before and they come and they're in pretty rough shape so I try to buy um what is it, it depends on where you're at but but above the two bottom options usually there's like five options and I go with the top three but this book is awesome it doesn't go as much into how to identify them but much much more how to use them it has recipes it has um lots of just lots of information and this is one that I did sit and just read through because the way that she talks about it is more conversationally like she's having a she's having a chat with you about it and so I really like it I like her style of writing I have used some of the recipes out of here hands down easily one of my very very favorite herbal books Okay, the next one is the Trapper's Bible I have not been into this one as much as the boys have but my sons have been through this and have really enjoyed it. Tons of information. It's amazing. All kinds of different traps. Um, tons of information about different um, animals, like the muskrat. As I said, my boys have poured through this book and really enjoyed it. So this is another thing that I feel like is important because, um, you know, you may not have a gun at some point. You may not have ammo your gun may break, things happen, maybe you don't know how to shoot with a bow and arrow, spear gets tricky, traps are your friend. <laughs> this is a good skill to have and so I highly recommend getting this one. I can't remember exactly where I got it but I'm pretty sure I can find it somewhere online and I'll link it for you guys. And then last but not least, this is Building Small Barns, Sheds, and Shelters and I don't want to get this wrong. I think I heard about this. I think I heard about this from, I think it was Lorella. Lorella, not a farm girl. I could be totally wrong. Lorella, if you see this, will you comment and tell me if you recommended this one like a year or so ago? Maybe that's where I heard about it from. If not, you should still go check out her channel because Lorella is amazing. But <laughs> this book is awesome. It has tons of different builds in it, lots of different information. Um, very user friendly. I am not the most builder savvy person. Um, I usually leave all of the measurements and the sawing and all of the things up to Kurt. I just kind of tell him what I want and kind of what I need it for. But this is really cool. It has a ton of information in it. Really nice um, diagrams. Tells you exactly what size of everything you need so you don't have to do a lot of that guesswork unless you decide you're adjusting something. So this one is awesome. I highly recommend it too. I am a total bookworm. I love books. I love having them on hand for the information. I'm not a library girl, actually, which might shock some. We homeschool and we love books, and I hate the library. But it's because I like to have the books on hand so that I can reference them again and again and again. And um, so this is just, this is just, this is just a little bit. We've got lots more, but I wanted to again hit the highlights and show you guys some really good books in case you haven't heard of them before. So I will link them below. Be sure to go check those out if anything sounded interesting to you. If you have any questions, please comment and I will do my best to answer them. And again, I will 
link to thriftbooks.com. It's a really neat place and I'll explain very briefly if you haven't used it before. Sign up. It's totally free and you want to make sure you're logged in whenever you make a purchase. If you buy $10 or more in books, you get free shipping and every time you place an order, you accumulate points and when you've reached a certain amount, then you get a discount code off of your next order. I've ordered through them quite a bit because sometimes they're cheaper than Amazon or if I'm buying a group of books it's cheaper to go through them and get the the, sh the free shipping that way because quite often on Amazon if I want to buy the books cheaper um, <coughs> excuse me, then I don't go through Prime and if you don't go through Prime quite often shipping on a book on Amazon is like four dollars so anyway they're a really neat company. I have thoroughly enjoyed using them. I've used them for years and I have not had any issues. I think one time a book did not show up and they were very quick to issue a refund. So anyway, I'm going to go get this edited and uploaded for you guys. I hope you're having a great week. We'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.